what is up uh welcome back to arts and crafts baby uh today i'm showing you my process of making a lino cut print to print on my shirts for my little shirt business so i draw my designs out and procreate first and then i use my ipad like a little light box to trace the design and it, um, these are, all of these clips are either on 15 times or 20 times speed. Just, uh, just so we know. <laughs> it's always this time-lapse videos that makes it look like it's, like, really easy. But this was, like, five hours straight in, like, one night, I think. So I just thicken up the lines because in a little bit... I'm going to attempt to cut out the lines with an X-Acto knife so that I can just trace it onto the lino cut, but I struggle with it a lot, as you will see. Oh, sorry beans. Oh, right here you can see that I tried to like transfer the graphite by pushing hard on it and it, it didn't work at all. So I'm lining it even darker and with a Posca so that I can attempt to cut out the lines with an X-Acto knife. Spoiler alert, doesn't really work. Doesn't help that I've never used the, um, like the linoleum that's attached to the wood block. I usually use like the, the bubblegum pink, like speedy carve blocks, which, um, I don't think I'll be purchasing one of this kind again because it also prints kind of shit. Like it's kind of cool, but it's kind of shit, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, the hardest part is that I, I've been making my design symmetrical, which makes it really hard to get it the same on both sides. So that's why I do the, the exacto knife thing in an attempt to make it as symmetrical as possible. Do I usually succeed? No. I do not. Basically, this whole video is just, um, watching me struggle for 14 minutes and 29 seconds. See, like, it starts out okay, but then I'm like, oh shit, how am I gonna get those lines to float in there? The answer is, I'm fucking not. <laughs> but at some point, you just gotta send it, you know what I'm saying? And send, I did. See, it, like, helped me a little bit. Only a little bit, though. This is where it starts to go downhill, to be honest. All those tiny, tiny little lines that I gave myself to do. It's not too bad. It kind, of, it kind of worked out a little bit. It's better than freehanding it. That's for fucking sure. I should probably stop swearing. YouTube doesn't like swearing. And as you saw me scribbling. The linoleum kept like drying out my Posca. 
which is a pain in the butt. But yeah, you can see now that I decided to um to freehand it because I was getting really sleepy, but I also really wanted to finish it. Now, um, you know, I said I'd stop swearing, but this is where shit hits the fan, I assure you. Shit hits the fan at 20 times speed, baby. The outside parts aren't so bad, but when I try to get in there with that little tiny carving tool, that's when it goes south, truly. Oh, I zoomed. Okay. It's close up time, baby. 20 times speed, close up time, struggle, struggle bus. Don't mind me, I'm drinking a Baja Blast. I assure you, when I was doing this, I was not having a Baja Blast. This part where I'm doing the outsides, it's me stalling because I don't want to do the little details in the middle. You'll see I do a lot of stalling. Because I knew how much of a pain in the ass it was going to be. Sorry if this part gives you whiplash. It was just really boring if it was any slower. Maybe that's a me thing. I don't know. But it was really boring. You can see there's one of my first fuck ups. The first of many. Stalling again. Still stalling, baby. Just like Russia. I probably shouldn't say that. For legal reasons, <laughs> that was a joke. The thing about the like the pink blocks is that it, it carves away like butter, bro. Like it, it is so smooth, so simple, so easy. But I was like putting so much like pressure onto my wrist to get these scoops that like my wrist hurt and I had to like take an hour break. Like in the middle. It was really bad. But I guess the end result is fine. Coincidentally, that's also what I tell people when they ask me how college is going. I just say, it's fine. Because it is. I'm not gonna say it's good. Then I'd be a liar. Be telling fibs, bro. 
but it's not as bad as it could be. It could definitely be worse. Unfortunately. Uh, and then I think I do some touch-ups here. And then it's print time, baby! Oh wait, this is print time. Haha. <laughs> print test time. Where basically I just mix like block printing ink, which is for the linoleum. Um, clothes ink from Walmart that comes in little pouchies. And then just whatever acrylic color I have laying around that's like similar. They do make special like fabric block printing ink. I just haven't like found it in me to make the purchase yet. See, like it's a it's a pretty okay print, but it's just like was it worth the trouble? Not particularly. But you do have to get up on top of that thing and show that who the fuck is boss. And then I touch it up because I fucked up the print. Like the the linoleum block itself. And then I fuck up the sleeves. And in a second, I'm going to have to paint the sleeves blue because I get a big splotch of blue on one of the end of the sleeves. I thought it would feel crunchy, but it's actually fine. Can you tell that I don't rehearse these voiceovers? I literally just hit record and talk about anything. Literally anything. But yeah, I had to, I had to give the, the cups a little stain. Because I fucked it up. Maybe I should have cut this part out, but like it's okay. We're here already. We ball. I just flip it over so that I can do the other side of the cups. And after a wash, the paint actually doesn't feel bad on your arms. It's like pretty soft still. I thought it might like feel off awful because I'm a real like texture person, but it's fine. And I think I'm gonna touch it up again anyways. I think I'm gonna touch them all up again, to be honest. Because after they went through the wash, they, end they turned out kind of weak. There's biscuits being a menace per usual. And uh, yeah, this is the final result. Don't look at it too hard. I don't wear a medium, and that shirt is a medium. Um, and also the pictures are crunchy because I need to retake the pictures when I reprint the shirts. But uh, yeah, that's it. I thrift all my shirts, that's why I gave a picture of the tag. But there's a picture of it not on me. And then I have other shirts. And I have these little ad banner things that I put up there. So if you want an art print, you, you hit me up at tinygas.bigcartel.com, I think. Um, but yeah, there's all my stuff, and I am reprinting them right now. Because they printed kind of weak. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.